We turn to Camilo Montoya Galvez, who covers immigration for CBS News. He's in the border city of Eagle Pass, Texas. Camila, with senators soon set to unveil their proposed plan, how would the proposed changes affect migrants trying to actually cross the border? Ed, it would be a dramatic policy change for anyone trying to get across. The president would have the authority to effectively shut down asylum processing here at the U.S.-Mexico border when there's a spike in illegal crossings. Migrants would be quickly expelled back to Mexico across the Rio Grande. It would also make asylum interviews harder to pass and increase deportations, something lawmakers hope would deter migrants from coming to the U.S. While Congress considers these changes, the state of Texas and the Biden administration are involved in an extraordinary legal showdown. Here in Eagle Pass, the Texas National Guard is defying demands to allow federal agents into a public park, fortifying a former Border Patrol staging area for migrants with razor wire. Texas says it needs to block access to deter illegal crossings, and more than two dozen Republican governors have supported the state's actions. But the Biden administration says Texas is blocking Border Patrol from doing its job. And Ed, immigration enforcement, after all, is a federal responsibility. Camila Montoya Galvez on the border tonight. Thank you.